Hey everyone, I am Steven Downhauer, a Season 7 Master Tier player and the current jungler for NC State's Varsity League of Legends team, and I'm going to walk you through the Choose Your Path jungle tool. We took a look at 91,000 blue side high elo jungle paths, and we're currently looking at an individual position plot for all of these blue side paths at 2 minutes. We can see quite a few high areas of concentration near all the blue side camps, as we might expect, and if we were to switch to the positional heat map, we can get a better idea of which camps were more popular than others at 2 minutes. From the positional heat map, we can clearly see that Krugs is the most popular camp at 2 minutes for high elo blue side junglers. Switching gears a bit, let's talk about the path that we're going to construct, a vertical clear. To set up for a vertical clear, we would likely take red buff on spawn, and then at 2 minutes, we'd be working on the Krugs camp. With that in mind, we're going to click on the Krugs camp to set our 2 minute position and proceed to the 3 minute mark. Now that I've selected the Krugs camp, the tool is displaying three minute positions of blue side junglers that were also at Krugs at two minutes. Any jungler that was at a different camp at two minutes has had their three minute position excluded from the display. Based on the positional heat map, we're seeing high concentrations of junglers at both scuttles and blue buffs. And the individual position plot can verify that this is the case. Now, let's take a look at what the win rate heat map looks like depending on where we go at three minutes. For the win rate heat map, Yellow regions indicate a win rate near 50%, blue indicates a higher win rate near 60%, and red indicates a lower win rate near 40%. As you can see, the high win rate regions at 3 minutes primarily take place in the enemy jungle, the river, mid lane, and bot lane. And for the lower win rate regions and neutral win rate regions, those primarily take place in the allied jungle. It's important to note that high win rate regions in places like the enemy jungle don't necessarily mean you should always invade. More so, this has to do with the fact that junglers who are in a strong enough position to invade are already in a more favorable position. Bringing it back to our path, since we're doing a vertical clear, let's say that we took Scuttlecrab after Krugs and proceeded on to the enemy blue buff. At three minutes in, we are probably finishing up with the enemy blue buff, so we'll select that position. Now, the tool is displaying four minute positions for junglers that were also at Krugs at two minutes and enemy blue buff at three minutes. From the individual position plot, we can see a lot of junglers ended up staying on the bottom half of the map at four minutes, which makes sense for a vertical clear setup. But if we switch over to the positional heat map, we'll be able to see more clearly that most junglers with paths similar to ours ended up at Raptors at four minutes, which happens to be the only clickable node left for us to choose. In our path, after we finished up with the enemy blue buff around three minutes, we probably chose to clear the enemy Gromp and Wolves. Under the assumption that we didn't see an opportunity to gank nearby lanes, we then chose to head over to our remaining camp on the bottom side of the map, Raptors. Now the tool is displaying 5 minute positions for junglers that had similar paths to ours up until this point. If we switch over to the individual position plot, we'll be able to see how there are currently far fewer similar jungle paths than there were at previous minutes. After we did Raptors at 4 minutes, we probably opted to recall, and then we had the choice of going to our Krugs camp since it's respawning shortly, or checking our top side camps if we don't think the enemy jungler matched our vertical clear. Based on the positional heat map, we see that the highest number of junglers with paths similar to ours ended up at Krugs at five minutes, but there were also some junglers that headed up to their top side camps. I hope this walkthrough helped you get a better understanding of the Choose Your Path tool. Links to the tool itself, as well as an article I wrote about the creation of the tool, are in the description.